Hi again, everybody, and welcome to Retirement SOS. I'm Ernie. And I'm Beth. And Beth, we have finally made it to Paris, Ontario. <laughs> yes, unfortunately not Paris, France, but this is nice too. Well, you know, something about Paris, Ontario coming here in October, we're gonna see the nice fall colors. We're gonna discover the town. We're gonna walk on a trail and we're gonna show you the landmark of Paris, Ontario, the Penman Dam. So I think it's gonna be a great trip. Yeah. So we are in the heart of downtown Paris, Ontario, and Beth and I are staying at the Arlington Hotel. And this hotel has got a long history. And it was built in 1851, and then later upgraded in the late 1800s. So the hotel itself, is not that big. There are basically 23 rooms and they are all themed rooms based on literary authors. The one that we're staying in is based on pulp culture and it's the Stan Lee room. And there's also the Ernest Hemingway room. And believe it or not, they also have a Monty Python room. So it's a real kick staying in one of these beautiful rooms. Okay, so we're in the Arlington Hotel. We are in the room. This is our room for the night. And look who is here with us protecting us, Captain America. So that's great because when you look over here, I don't know what that is. Is that part of an ax or a sledgehammer that's in the wall? So, you watch over us, Captain America. Well, it's not just Captain America that'll have to watch over us. It's Iron Man and the Avengers and Spider-Man. The X-Men. Do you notice a theme going on? This room is called the Stan Lee Room. Every room in this hotel is devoted to, I guess, a person in the literary world. And we happen to get the Stan Lee Room. So there's a lot of stuff related to Stan Lee characters, I guess. I'm not really into this kind of thing, but I guess it's interesting. I don't know, hopefully I can sleep with this wallpaper. Wow, that is loud. <laughs> Superheroes on our wall. Everywhere. <laughs> so as you can see, it's a nice, cozy room. It's not that big. So here is one of the major landmarks of Paris, and it's the Penman Dam at Penman Dam Park. And as you can see, the the, the waterfalls, which represents the dam, slows the water flow down. And this was built in 1918. And this was formerly, believe it or not, a clothing factory. And there's the bridge that a train can travel across. See that train every so often. And it's certainly understandable why this would be a major landmark, wouldn't it? Yeah, for sure. It's very pretty here. It's very rustic looking. It's not exactly the sunniest day. It's kind of gray. The sky is a little bit gray, but it's still nice to see the fall colors just beginning. And one of the good things about this area is it has a temperate climate compared to the rest of Ontario. We're in the Carolinian um, forest area and there's a much longer growing season here. So it actually is a cloudy day, but in terms of the temperature, it's around 20 degrees. And here we are, you know, in the middle of October. So here's another stop, and we're looking at the Grand River. And I guess Paris, the town itself, is back that way. You can actually see uh, 
the steeple of a church way beyond there, where I guess the, the town itself is. It's a really nice lookout point. I was wondering what the, uh, the fishing was like here. I'm going to have to ask somebody if I run into somebody fishing. Okay, so here's a nice lookout point in downtown Paris. And as we approach the railing, we get a nice view of the Grand River. And you can see the fall colors are just starting now. And as I said, this is in downtown Paris. So Beth, we're at the uh, war memorial dedicated to the ones that lost their lives. These were all Paris residents. Yes, it's a war memorial that I think started out um, dedicated to the veterans of the First World War, but has since expanded to cover World War II and the Korean War as well. Yeah, it's amazing how these small towns really appreciate the ones that sacrificed their lives during the war. They, they really do. They, they, make sure that they really mark it in a way that's very meaningful for the town. It, um, you can see if you scan over to the different, uh, they actually list all the different names of all the battles of World War I. And of course they call it the Great War. Yes, and then they've added this plaque for the veterans of World War II that again lost their lives. They did that in 1995. So here they've listed the names of the veterans who have lost their lives in World War I. And the sad part about it is Paris is actually a very small town, but there's a lot of names for such a small town. And in fact, the names go along uh, the other side of the monument as well. So it's a lot of people. Yeah, so that's the uh, World War I. And then now let's go to the World War II Memorial. And interestingly enough, uh, World War II, there were less uh, people, people that, lost. That, that lost their lives. I don't know what that means. I don't know enough about history, but it actually is only one side of the memorial, but it's enough. Well, thank God for these soldiers. We really, really appreciate everything that they've done. That's why we wanted to specifically show this it's a nice, a nice little park area off the main street. Got a clock tower, We've got the quaint shops. You just walk up that sidewalk and then you'll see the memorial. Very, very well done. So Beth, we are now at the beginning of the Paris to Cambridge Trail. It's an 18 kilometer trail. Now we're not gonna walk the whole thing, but I believe it's fairly flat and uh, a pretty nice trail to walk on. Yeah, I'd like to see it. So let's begin. Okay. So here's the trail. It looks pretty easy so far, just a very flat trail. Uh, we were thinking that maybe you could see the river along one side, the Grand River that we showed previously, but at this point anyway, it's all just trees. It smells really nice kind of wet and you can really smell the forest. You 
in the origin of this trail is that this used to be a railway line. Deja vu. <laughs> yeah, our, our last... If you've watched our Goddard video. <laughs> yeah. But with this Carolinian forest, this, like, some of these trees are very, very rare and can only grow in this region. Ash trees, chestnut trees. There's about 300 bird species. So this rail line actually started in the early 20th century and it continued with passengers, believe it or not, until 1955. And after that, it continued on for about another six years carrying freight. And this actually is a heritage site. So this will be here for generations to come, thank goodness. So Beth, as we said earlier, this trail, the Cambridge to Paris Trail, runs parallel with the Grand River. We've got a little bit of an opening there amongst the brush. And I don't know how well the camera is picking up the river, but the Grand River is down there. Hopefully you can, you can see it a little bit. But think about it, you have the option of walking this trail, canoeing, canoeing, kayaking, going on a bike, or you can even drive. <laughs> you could even do the old fashioned driving. <laughs> like planes, trains, and automobiles. <laughs> yeah, but one thing I do like about this trail, it's, it's so flat, so really it's open to all ages. Yeah. So if you're on a bike, it's an 18 kilometer trail. And depending on your level of fitness, you should be able to complete it within one and a half hours to two hours. And it's just a perfect length. I'm enjoying walking it with Beth. As we said, it had just rained. And it just smells so fresh out here. And not, a, not really a lot of people on this trail. And there you see somebody riding his bike on the trail. Here, the trail is just lovely. The trees are overgrown like a canopy, and it's almost like a roof of trees. It's very pretty. And in case you're wondering about this trail, this trail actually opened in 1994, and it's been here ever since. And again, another popular landmark in Paris that you must walk on or bike on. So Beth, we just walked a couple of kilometers on this Paris to Cambridge trail. What do you think about it? 
I really liked it. I thought it was uh, so nice and green in the air, I guess because it's a little bit cooler. We're heading into autumn and it just, the smells, it was, no bugs, it was perfect. Yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. We had no mosquitoes, no bugs. What I liked about it is that it's flat and I have a little bit of a bad left knee and I've had no problem walking two kilometers. No, but it's a long trail. So if you wanted exercise, you could certainly keep going and going and going. <laughs> absolutely. And really, I wouldn't mind walking a little bit more, but then it looks like it might rain. So we should head back. So our next stop is the Paris Bakery. And as you can see, it's been around since 1927. And I believe they're famous for their butter tarts and pastries. So we're soon gonna have a look inside. So this is Grand River Street, really nice quaint downtown. And you can see the foliage in the background, the trees, some really nice stores. And it's actually quite busy for a, a Friday night. And Beth and I, we're going to be heading over to dinner soon. So Beth, we're just outside of our restaurant, Stillwaters. I don't know about you, but we've done a lot of walking and exercising today, so I'm pretty hungry. What about you? Yeah, I could eat. We had a quaint restaurant here in downtown Paris, Ontario. Looks really good. And going over to my dinner, I've got an open faced steak sandwich with these, I guess, little fried onions and kettle chips and a sauce. Bon appetit! <laughs> Thank you, you too. So Beth, what a great first day we had. We've checked into our hotel, we went to the park, and we went on this Cambridge to Paris Trail. Yeah, it was very nice. We, I actually saw on the walk back uh, a cardinal and a blue jay. I just wish we could have gotten that on camera because it was really nice, but they were just too fast. <laughs> and you made an interesting point about it being a Friday. It's, it was nice and quiet. There was no crowds there. It was just, it was almost like it was just you and I and the Blue Jay and the Cardinal. <laughs> Absolutely. So, you know, if you live in the big city, this is such a great way to get back in touch with nature. We had a great time. We hope you enjoyed it. So until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. So if you're wondering where the trail is in Paris, it's off of Willow Street, very close to Penman's Park. But the trail has its own parking. And so you just make a turn into this driveway. And as you can see, here we are on a Friday afternoon. And there's only five cars parked. So you can see there's plenty of parking. And the 18 kilometer trail starts just beyond those rocks.